Uh, we are going to study quickly uh, the theory related uh, with the strainer, the C strainer. Don't forget that uh, both elements, the strainer and raw water pump, both of them should be located below the water line. This is very, 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 very important. I recommend always, always mark inside of the engine room where is located the level of the water line. Mark with a sharpie where is located the level of the water line. I explained to you the procedure to verify where is the, the level of, the, of uh, the water line inside of the engine room. Okay, my friends, the strainers. There are different type of uh, seawater strainers and uh, all of those are, uh, if, if, if the strainer is marine approved, you can use that strainer. Important thing, uh, if, uh, if the fitting of uh, my raw water pump is uh, three quarter, uh, of course the fittings in my, in my strainer should be three quarter. If this is uh, one inch, should be one inch. Half, half. In other words, it's not recommended reductions in the, in the diameter of the, of, of the raw water pipes. Uh, it's not recommended uh, 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 the input in one uh, in one size and the output in other side. Both of them, both of them should be the same diameter, the same size. Both of both of those uh, fittings should be equal. All right. I recommend plastic, like uh, the uh, strainer that you have on the screen right now, or I recommend a, a, a bronze like this. All of those are if. If they are marine approved, they are excellent uh, to install in your home. Okay, if it's metallic like this, this is uh, fabricated in marine, uh, in a bronze, naval bronze, it's an special alloy. Uh, this alloy is resistant for corrosion, um, but it's important keep, keep, keep the strainer clean. In this moment, this is not clean. The strainer should be completely clean. The idea is that this crystal be completely clean in order to verify uh, if the water if the water is moving in order to verify if uh, the the water have bubbles bubbles of air remember the bubbles of air in the in the strainers are no good because those bubbles enter in the raw water pump when the raw water pump is uh, is working compress the water in this area and uh, and compress the bubbles of air and you remember what happened the bubbles expand and and destroy the impeller produce excessive cavitation on the blades of the impeller and destroy the impeller for that reason you need verify periodically when you enter in the engine room if the raw water is moving on the on the on the strainers and if the raw water doesn't have bubbles the bubbles are the enemy okay i am going to explain the procedure to bleed to bleed the strainer and eliminate the bubbles okay uh, the typical strainer fabricated in copper like this can be installed if you check if you check those holes uh, the strainer can be installed in this position or this position but uh, in some cases they have in the labels the letters input and output input and output i recommend follow the recommendation and install the strain the, the seacock in this in this position because this is the, the input don't forget the diameter of the fitting should be equal all the time. I am going to install uh, the seacock here and after that the strainer, seacock, strainer and after that the raw water pump. Seacock, strainer and raw water pump. Don't forget below the water line. This is very 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 important. Inside of the strainer, if inside of the strainer, if you open the strainer, this gasket is very important. This gasket is very important. You need to keep this gasket in good condition. You can order the kit in order to repair uh, the strainer. The strainer is composed for the gasket, the basket. This is metallic in a stainless steel. And it, the kit is coming with the two O-rings, one O-ring on top, other O-ring on the bottom, and with the crystal. In some cases, if you need to replace the crystal for a new one, it's coming. The idea is keep this strainer in perfect condition, completely clean. How can you clean? I recommend clean with the, with the water mixed with bleach in order to 
remove all the corrosion and all the oxidation. And the same with this. You can introduce the basket in a container with bleach and water or uh, barnacle removal in order to remove all of those elements and keep the basket in good condition. Yeah, the basket is located inside and after that, after that, the seal. After that, the seal. Don't forget, when you do the service, when you do the service on, a, on a strainers and raw water pumps, the first step is close, is close the valve. Close the valve in order to do the service properly. Okay, you can replace the gasket. And uh, right now the gasket is new one. Uh, the, the basket internally is new one. The, the crystal is clean. You open the valve and you verify if the water is moving. If the water is moving, the water enter. And right now you have water in the raw water pump and you can start the engine. I recommend start the engine. Immediately you start the engine, I recommend touch the plate. At the beginning the plate should be a little hot, but immediately the temperature decrease when the engine starts. At, at the same time you check if you have bubbles, if you have bubbles on the strainer. If you have bubbles on the, on the strainer, I recommend open a little the, 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 the top, remove the cap, water is coming out and tight again. Tight again and verify that you don't have bubbles right now. Okay, this is the procedure to bleed. You lose a little, you lose a little the top, you move it with your hands, water is coming out with air, and right now you tight again, you tight the cap properly, and right now the water is circulating with no bubbles. And right now, of course, the temperature of the plate is cold, it's nice, and the engine is running good. When the engine is running, you need verify if the pulley is moving straight, not bended, and if the, if the belt is properly installed. This is the procedure to do the service on a, on, a, on the raw water pump and the procedure to do the service on the strain. Other important thing is this, because this element and this element are a metallic elements and uh, they are located below the water line, uh, it's important they have, for example, uh, this is uh, the seacock valve. In the seacock valve you have a couple of screws here. Those screws those screws are used to connect to connect this element to the bonding system. You remember in our electrical class, of course, those fittings, those strainers, the strainer should be connected from here into the bonding system, like the picture that you have on the screen right now. Those elements in copper should be connected to the bonding system, and the terminals, the terminals should be properly crimped and, and properly. Uh, uh, cover it with heat string in order to avoid corrosion on those cables. Yes, those elements should be connected to the bonding system. Of course, the block of the engine with this also connected to the bonding system. This is very, very important in order to avoid excessive corrosion on the strainer and excessive corrosion on the on the on the on the true holes.